Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you're excited for today's general energy reading. As always, I'm ready to cleanse with my Kamaya healing spray. So I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling my cards. So I hope you guys have been well. Thank you guys so much for booking all of your personal readings with me as well as all your tips. Um, even though I have a regular nine to five now, I love that you guys are still reaching out to me wanting personal readings. And I hope you guys are enjoying these daily collective readings that I've been able to put up for you. Um, as I promised, I'm going to try to keep trying trying to do one video a day for as long as possible. So let me get in one more shuffle and then we can go ahead and tap in and see what is going on with the collective. Let's go. All right. So we have our first two cards out. No, four cards. Interesting. So the first we have a knave of chalices. So someone is thinking about you. You are heavily on this person's mind and this person wants to reach out to you, but they can't put their feelings into words. This person definitely has a blocked throat chakra right now. Um, they are, you know, writing a text message and then deleting it. They're writing a email and then deleting it. Um, they don't know how they want to express their love towards you um, because you to them are out of their league. You are the empress right now. This is the power and the energy that you are embodying and they really see you in this beautiful glowing light and they don't know how to approach someone. They definitely feel like, you know, you're out of their league and if they don't come towards you in the best possible way, you're going to reject them and that would be the end of the world for them. Next, we have the Knave of Pentacles. Um, this is another thing that is holding them back from you right now. Um, they're not financially stable and they're worried that if they're not able to provide for you in the way that you deserve, um, again, you're going to reject them. And um, like I mentioned, if you reject them, it's going to cause a tower moment. Um, with this tower, this person really, really wants you, but they have such a lacking mindset that um, they are basically keeping themselves stuck, unable to move, because if they make the wrong move, um, it'll just ruin everything. Um, yeah, I'm just hearing, you know, over and over again, that rejection from you, um, would be the worst possible outcome for them. All right. So we have three more cards. First off, we have an eight of pentacles. So this person, since they're not able to get their words out towards you, they are really focusing more on their finances and trying to become more stable. Like I said, with the Knave of Pentacles, they're not as financially stable as they want to be. Um, so they're working really hard so that they can become more financially stable so that when they come towards you, they won't have to worry about, you know, if they ask you out on dates and being able to treat you and being able to pay um, for things like that. Then we have the Hierophant. This person definitely wants a stable commitment with you. Um, they really want, you know, to be in a traditional type of relationship where, um, you know, the divine masculine energy really pays for everything and really provides um, for their divine feminine. And lastly, we have a King of Swords. This person really just wants to come forward with the truth about how they feel about you and um, you know, I think this person may come off as very stoic, very unemotional, but they do have a lot of love for you in their hearts. Um, it's just that because of the way they were raised, um, they think showing a lot of emotion is a sign of weakness. So the way they approach you and the way they communicate with you may be very direct and very, you know, unemotional, but definitely know that to them being able to be really honest and being able to be really like vulnerable and straightforward with their partner is the most important thing for them. The bottom of the deck, we have temperance. So what I'm getting, what you can do to welcome this person and help this person out is to continue to focus on yourself and keep healing yourself. Um, send this person your positive energy um, I think this person definitely has a blocked throat chakra as well as a blocked heart chakra. So definitely, you know, pray for them, send them your positive energy whenever you're thinking about them and you'll be able to reflect that positive energy back to them so that they can help and heal themselves within. Next under that, we have the lovers. So this person definitely really loves you and they really want a long and stable commitment with you. 
Under that, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This person definitely sees a happy family with you. They think you are the best partner for them um, to bring into their family and to create new financial and stable abundance for future generations. Next, we have a Two of Pentacles. So I think this person may have juggled you in the past. I think they may have put you in a third party situation or if they didn't do that, when they first met you, they may have been entertaining someone else. So they had to kind of put you on the back burner while they seed, um, they had to see out the current relationship that they were in. They had to have that play out completely. Um, and because of that, they really felt like they lost you. That's another reason why it's causing so much trouble and issue for them to, um, you know, come forward and come towards you. Um, under that, we have the High Priestess. So I think you already sense who this person is. I think you're very intuitive. You know who this person is that is thinking about you um, because their energy has been around you. Maybe you've been seeing signs and synchronicities. Maybe you've been seeing their name all over the place. Maybe you've been seeing people who look like them. Um, any of that, however it resonates for you. But with the Seven of Swords, I think you have been hurt in the past um, from other past relationships and I think this person knows that too and that is why that they want to make sure to come in and be able to really promise that they are not here to hurt you they want to actually take care of your heart under that was the justice um, with the justice here this um, relationship is definitely going to be balanced you two were definitely going to be able to communicate well as long as soon as this person clears up um, their energy. Once they're able to finally have the strength to want to communicate you and come towards you, um, you'll be able to get justice within your relationship and you're going to have a lot of balance, equal give and take, which is great. And then also we have the Ace of Swords here. Um, this person is definitely also going to be very honest with you about their feelings. Um, it's going to just be a very transparent, relationship not too lovey-dovey um but this person is going to be very financially stable this person is going to be very honest and do everything um, that you need from a partner without being over the top lovey-dovey and under that we have the chariot so like i said this person is definitely just trying to build up the strength so that they can come back towards you and give you this stable offer of love so I think with that said, we're just going to get a few more cards because I think this has been pretty straightforward. So Spirit, what can we expect to happen from the situation in the next 7 to 10 days? Please let us know. All right, so we have four cards come out. First off, we have a Knight of Wands. Um, in reverse. So this person, you know, they definitely have lots of passionate love for you, but they are not going to be in their Knight of Wands energy. This is someone who doesn't want to be a player anymore. This is someone who wants to choose you and only you. Next, we have um, a Knight of Swords um, in reverse. Again, I think this person was immature in the past, very impulsive, um, told little white lies to spare your feelings. Um, but since this is in reverse, this person definitely wants to do their best to um, empower their knight, their king of swords energy um, to always be honest and straightforward with you how you need them to communicate with you. Next, we have a six of swords in reverse. Any conflicts that you guys have, you're going to be able to come together and talk through your issues and come out the other end stronger than ever. This person really wants to build a strong and stable foundation in love with you. Next, we have Six of Pentacles. So this person definitely wants equal give and take within this relationship. They are going to love on you and give to you just as much as you um, want to give back to them. So I'm hearing from Spirit that it is okay to trust and to love. Um, it's okay when this person finally comes towards you. Don't be afraid. This is the right person and they're going to invest in you just as much as you want to invest in them. So that is it for today's reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anything resonated, please do thumbs up the video. That is the best way to energetically donate to our channel so that I can pick up more on your specific story and your specific situation. 
It's also the best way to get our videos out to more and more viewers. Um, if you are brand new and anything resonated, I hope you do decide to subscribe today. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get up, um, notified of when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in a later video. Bye guys.